Alright, so now Michael is inside our Tableau server and he gonna start browsing and searching for your sales dashboard and once he find it, he gonna click on it and try to access your dashboard. So now let's see what's gonna happen in Tableau server. And as usual, the HTTP request for accessing gonna be generated and sent to the server and we know by now that the gateway gonna receive the request and start forwarding it to the right component, the application server. And then the application server gonna start to render the Chrome around the Viz all those icons and images that are not inside the dashboard itself. And then the application server gonna say, okay, now we are talking about visualizations. This is completely out of my league. We have to forward this request to the master, to the brain. It is the VizQL server. It is the one that deals with visualizations. And from here, the VizQL gonna take over and gonna say, okay, first thing first, let's check if this guy Michael is allowed to see the sales dashboard. So the VizQL gonna ask the repository. And in the repository, there is a list of users and reports. So it's gonna search there to find any matches. If yes, then it's gonna send back, yeah, Michael is a boss and he's allowed to see the sales dashboard. And now the VizQL gonna say, all right, now we need data. So first we need the metadata of the dashboard. And as you know, after we publish the workbook, the metadata gonna be stored inside the repository. So the VizQL gonna request from the repository one more thing is to send the XML file of the dashboard. The repository then gonna send back the XML to the VizQL server and the server will start building the dashboard. All right, so now the VizQL gonna say, Okay, now we have the dashboard, but the problem is it is empty. We need the data to fill it. And it's better to ask our data specialist, and that is the data server. The data server is the one that knows everything about the data. So it's gonna say, all right, for this dashboard, part of the data, we have it already inside Tableau server, but the other part is sadly outside of Tableau. To get the data inside Tableau server from the extract, the data server gonna send the query request to the data engine. And the data engine knows how to query and extract the needed data from the file store. So the data engine's gonna get the data from the file store and it's gonna send it back to the data server. And now we come to the part where the data is living outside of Tableau server. Here the data server gonna act as a proxy where it's gonna use the data connectors to connect to the external databases. Once the connection is established, it's gonna send a query that matches the language that the database speaks. And then the database is gonna return the needed data as raw table. And now once we have all the needed data inside the data server, it's gonna combine it and do another security check. So the data server is gonna check, is Michael allowed to see all data or should we filter the data? So the data server gonna filters the data depends on the data security setup that you have made. And then it's gonna send the raw data back to the VizQL server. And now once VizQL server has the raw data for the dashboard, it's gonna do now the magic by turning all those numbers and raw data into images and visuals. And it's gonna put it inside the workbook. So now finally the VizQL has everything it needs. The sales dashboard is complete and ready. So the VizQL gonna send it back to the gateway and the gateway gonna send it back to the web browser of Michael so Michael can start interacting with the dashboard. And now Will, hmm, does Michael have any idea what to do with the sales dashboard? I declare bankruptcy! Alright, I know there was a lot of stuff going around in this scenario, but we have covered most of the Tableau server components. So let's have a summary and understand what we have learned so far. As usual, the gateway is responsible to forward the request to the right component. The application server is not responsible for the visualization process, but the VizQL server is the one that is responsible of building the visualizations. The repository gonna store information about the permissions and security, which users are allowed to access which dashboard, and the data server gonna manage both of the extract and live data sources. And the data engine is responsible of retrieving the data from the extract inside Tableau. And the data connector is gonna help the data server to connect to the external sources and the VizQL server does the magic of transforming the raw data into visuals. Alright, so so far with those three scenarios, we covered the most important component of Tableau server. Now we're gonna go and put all pieces together into the Tableau architecture and start explaining them one by one. So let's go.